Hello guys, Rob here. With the recent explosion we have seen in activity on the EOS blockchain, users with lower stake are having trouble sending transactions during these times of high activity. So in this video, I'm going to show how to get Blocks.io to pay for your CPU costs. Thanks to EOS 1.8, dApps and other accounts can now pay the resources of transactions for other accounts. So here I am on Blocks.io signed in with Scatter. Right now this feature is in beta and I believe only works with Scatter at this point. So if you connect with another wallet, I'm not sure if this feature will work. But right now Scatter 100% works. So after you log in with your EOS account using Scatter to Blocks.io, come up here and click the drop down button here next to your account name. And under your account you can see free CPU, five transactions left. So you can get up to five transactions a day paid for by Blocks.io through Blocks.io. And all you need to do to turn this feature on is come here and click on the free CPU. Just like that, once it's lit up like that, you now have the free CPU turned on. Now this free CPU feature does not work for things like IDOS mining. They have blocked that you cannot send a transaction with their CPU to do IDOS mining. And even if you could, don't be that guy. Use this in, in case of emergency. If you, if you don't have CPU time available and you need to send a transaction or update your stake or buy Rex or refresh your vote, something like that, use this in case of emergency. So now I have the free CPU turned on here. So you can see this account that I have hooked up, Sendios to Rob, currently does have some CPU available. I've already used 653 microseconds of the 9.66 milliseconds of CPU time I have, or 7%. So I'm gonna go ahead and send a transaction using free CPU, free CPU turned on. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh my vote. So I'm gonna come over to proxies. This account is proxying the vote through the proxy for nation reward proxy. So I want to keep that vote weight at 100%. I'm going to go ahead and click the proxy to proxy for nation to refresh my vote. Allow scatter to pop up. And you can see here the first thing, tipped, tipped. That is the blocks.io tip account. This is also the account that pays for CPU. What's it doing? It's paying for CPU for Sendios to rob this transaction here, refreshing my vote. I'm going to click allow. Transaction went through. So now I'm going to go look at my account to show you what happened here. Now you can see, just like before I sent the transaction, CPU is exactly where it was before I sent the transaction. My CPU was not used. If we come back up here, now I only have four transactions left today because I just used one of them. And if we come down in the actual account and see what happened, click on the account here. Two actions here. First, is tipped tipped paying for CPU and then the action I put through updating my proxy vote to proxy for nation. So the tipped tipped account which is blocks.io just paid that 2.14 millisecond CPU cost for this transaction for me. And one more thing I just want to cover Rex here. 83.33% of Rex has been borrowed. Now, right now, there is a limit where you can no longer borrow Rex. You can see there's still over 16 million EOS available to be borrowed. There's a limit that once I believe it's over 80%, once there's only 20% or less EOS left to be borrowed, you can no longer borrow from Rex. Uh, there is a push within the community to change that to 95% or 90% or something like that. So, But as of right now, with this number above, I believe it is 80, you cannot borrow CPU or net from Rex. Just wanted to get that out there just in case some of you dump, do come on here, use the free CPU to get Rex, to get yourself more CPU resources. If it's not going through, the transaction isn't working, that is more than likely the case. The fact that we are over that 80% number with only 20% or less, EOS left in Rex, uh, but there is a push right now within the community to get the top 21 block producers to change this to a higher threshold number so more people can borrow right now during this crazy explosion we've seen in um, 
amount of transactions being sent. So that's it for this one. I hope this helped some of you out there that are having CPU troubles at this time. And please only use the free CPU feature here if you need to. Keep it there for others that need it. Uh, Blocks is offering this for free. We don't want to piss them off in any way and get them to pull this. Have you checked out the Telos blockchain yet? Telos is an EOSIO blockchain currently running at 0% inflation and paying hefty Rex returns thanks to the Telos economic development plan being voted through by the community. This plan pays an extra 1 million TLOS tokens per month to those staking their tokens in Telos Rex. If you'd like to learn more about Telos, get your free account or learn how to Rex your Telos using both Squirrel Wallet and Scatter, check out the link in the description that will take you to this page. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. But that's it for me for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one.